Hello everybody, in this video I'll talk about Express Entry of Canada and I will answer a frequently asked question about IELTS and WES. Which one of these two should be done first? In other words, the Language Proficiency Test or ECA. What should be the right order? I'll give you the reply, the answer to it in a little while. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos. I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, so talking of IELTS and WES, it's very important to notice that both of these two are mandatory. When you create your profile, you have to submit the details of your IELTS or your language test. We have to submit each and the score of each and every section and we also have to submit the certificate number along with the date of the test result, which makes it very crucial. Similar is for WES. We have to submit the certificate number and the ECA report issued date which means that both of them are actually required before the profile creation. And you should have the result of both of IELTS and WES before the profile creation. Now, if we talk in terms of time, so the estimated time for IELTS would be around 1.5 months. I assume that people would generally take one month for the preparation and result take 13 days. So this might vary from one person to the other depending on their proficiency in English but this is just an estimate. Again now the WES arranging transcripts is a, just a one day work but it might take from 10 to 12 days so I've taken it from one to two weeks. The evaluation takes around four to five weeks which makes it a total of around 1.5 months again. So both of the, these two processes, these two steps actually take the same amount of time. Now, express entry draws are conducted every 15 days. This is not mandatory, but this is just the general pattern. So in those 1.5 months, at least three express entry draws would be conducted. Now, time is very crucial. If you haven't seen the video of tie breaking rule, please visit my channel and check out that video. You'll realize the importance of time. The soon you enter the pool with your express entry profile, the easier it is for you, or I, I should rather say that you have the higher chances of getting the ITA, if you have a good score, of course. So in case you are not very confident of your English, you, you feel that you just want to appear for IELTS just on a trial basis, you can give the IELTS first and wait for a result and then go for you see, if you're not that serious about the immigration, but if you're really serious about the immigration, if you really want to go ahead with the Canadian immigration process, with the express entry process, you should do both of these tasks in parallel. Now, both of IELTS and WES, or I can, I should rather say the language test and the ECA are entirely different processes. They're not interrelated and can be done in parallel. So, you should do both of them in parallel. Let's say you are started preparing for your IELTS and in the meanwhile, you can arrange your transcript and send it to the WES along with your degree certificates or whatever is the case in your country. So by the time you get the IELTS, you know, you appear for IELTS, around the same time you would be getting the report for the WES by the time you get your the result of your IELTS. So this will approximately be the same time as I just told you a minute before. As soon as you're done with both the reports, you're, you have your IELTS report card with you and you also have the ECA reference, uh, the ECA letter with you. In that case, you can create the profile of Express Entry. In case you feel that you know there's scope of improvement and you can improve your IELTS score you can give the IELTS again and update your profile which is a very simple process you can just go over there and update it it would just take five minutes so guys this is my suggestion that to save time increase your chances of getting the ITA you should do 
IELTS and WES in parallel. They are not interrelated, so you can do both of these activities in parallel. So thanks for watching this video. I hope the information shared in this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you think it is helpful, it might be helpful for any of your friends, please share it with them and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Do it right now. Thank you.